strobe guidelines are applied to non current studies crossover studies randomized trials and observational studies guidelines basically each study has specific specific set of guidelines these guidelines are formulated basically to regulate the studies for example uh, strobe guideline or care guideline prisma these are some kind of guidelines set of rules actually followed by to do set of epidemiological studies for example if you take care care is basically for case report okay so to do a proper case report we should follow the care guideline okay if you follow the particular guidelines and the specific set of rules and everything we will expect a less bias more standard results result can be easily comparable with those who are doing other studies also similar studies right so it's basically for making everything standardized these guidelines are used for standardization now coming to the strobe guideline strobe guideline is a full form of strengthening and reporting observational studies in epidemiology we know that observational studies is nothing but a cross sectional prospective and retrospective so these are the observational studies so these study if you want to these do these kind of studies we should stick to the strobe guidelines usually strobe guidelines have 22 set of checklist okay so we should follow these guidelines for doing proper observational studies so to know this all the set of checklist is not a mandatory at ug level but we should know which guidelines are used for which kind of study so uh, we will go to the other kind of uh, guidelines also prisma guideline basically prisma guideline is nothing but refer reporting item for systematic review and meta analysis for doing any systematic review and meta analysis we should stick to the prisma guideline similar it's like basically to compare if they are doing any systematic review if they do by prisma guidelines it will be easy for comparing for any uh, for example if they are doing the study and research in english in india and somebody in Ch china or someone will do their study in chinese okay in their own mother tongue okay then how we will compare this one language is a barrier other barriers standardization for example in english they are using meter as a standard for example here whereas in china they will use some other standard like centimeter or millimeter or something so to compare and standardization it will become very tough so make these things prisma is used prisma if they will use always tell us to use si unit so whatever the si unit we will stick to that one so there are so many guidelines and uh, systems to follow this one so prisma is applicable for systematic review and meta analysis coming to the concept Consult is a consolidated standard of reporting trial. Trial, we know that any clinical trial, field trial, okay, RCT, randomized control trial, we use consult. So, same, same, similar, like in this is a set of guidelines we used for doing the reporting clinical trials. Coming to the care, we have seen already, it's a care means case report. How we are selecting the case, how we are treating, whether we are following the ethics or not, everything is in accordance, if we follow accordance to the care guidelines, then the study is having a standardized study. Now coming back to the question, here answer is stroke guidelines. So answer is a observational study, option 4. This is the answer for this question.